Like, why is it that VO2 max muscle mass and strength stand out as the, the, the greatest predictors of lifespan, which they do, right? They, these stand out as far greater predictors of lifespan than cholesterol levels, blood pressure, blood glucose, all of these things that clearly relate to how fast you're going to live or die. Um, even smoking is a, is a worse predictor of lifespan um, than your fitness level. Uh, and, and the reason, I think, is just it speaks to how potent exercise is as a tool to impact the cellular processes of aging. But it also speaks to the fact that you can't cram for the test when it comes to these tests, right? So if a person has a high VO2 max, they have been doing a lot of exercising for a long time. That doesn't have to mean their whole life, but they didn't just decide, a, you know, a week ago, oh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of unfit, but I'm, I'm going to start exercising and I'm going to get fit. No, 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 no. If, if, you're, if your VO2 max is in the top 2 or 3% of your age group, you've been at this for a while. And therefore, the VO2 max measurement is really an integration of work that you have done. It's that work that is being captured through the integral of the final metric or the test.